Okay, this is going to be a lesson on rationals and simplifying rational expressions. Okay, so uh, we're going to go through uh, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, and then a complex fraction. All right, with multiplication, here's the concept. What we want to do is factor or simplify each part of each fraction. Okay, now. I'm gonna do some of this uh, rapidly in this video just in the interest of time. But what I would do here is I would factor this, that'd be x minus four. That's gonna be x squared um, plus four x plus 16, okay? All over, if I factor this, this is x minus six, x minus two. Here I would take out a two, which that makes that x squared minus 36. So that's x plus six, x minus six. And on here, I'd take out an eight, which just makes this x minus four, okay? So I wanna factor and simplify each part. Now, if it is multiplication, okay? What I'm looking to do, whoops, I'm sorry. All right. <clears throat> what I wanna uh, do if it's multiplication, uh, you know, no changes are needed. All right, we'll go over division in a second. Uh, division, what you have to do is uh, uh, just write keep, change, flip. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And then we want to eliminate like factors vertically and diagonally. Okay, so here's what I mean by that. All right, if I look vertically here, nothing's the same, but diagonally, I've got x minus 4, x minus 4. Also diagonally, I got x minus six and x minus six, okay? These don't, you can't just cross off individual things. They gotta be the full deal. Now, what I wanna do is once I do that, multiply across, okay? Now, what that means is we're not physically gonna multiply. We're just gonna sort of write the factors next to each other. So two, uh, doesn't matter the order, x plus six, x squared plus four x plus 16, all over eight, x minus two. So I wanna keep those coefficients out front because the last step is uh, simplify coefficients. Okay, so two divided by eight would be four, so I, or one fourth, so I can put a one up here if I want, plus six, x squared plus four x plus 16, all over uh, four and x minus two. So I just simplify the coefficients. There's no, no need to multiply those out, okay? All right, let's do another one. Now, this one, I would take out a 10. I'd be left with x minus seven. This one, I would take out a two, and then that would become x cubed plus one, which would be x plus one, x squared minus x plus one, times, this would be x plus one, x minus one. Now, let's talk about this. That looks like that's backwards. Usually the letter, it's the letter than the number. So what I can do is when I have this situation is I can take out a negative and basically flip this order around to be x minus seven, okay? So what that does is that keeps the math good, all right? It allows me to eliminate any like factors. Okay, so vertically here, no, vertically here, but diagonally x minus seven, diagonally x plus one. So what do I have up top? I've got 10, x minus one, on the bottom, I've got two times negative one, which is negative two, and then I've got x squared minus one x plus one. Now, I can divide those coefficients. That is gonna be negative five. And so I'm left with this for an answer, okay? All right. Now, when it comes to division, everything is the same except this. Okay, I factor this one. If I factor that, that's gonna be x minus three, x minus seven. Okay, here I would take out a three. That's gonna be x minus four. Now, <clears throat> division, uh, keep this fraction. This is what this means. Keep, change to multiplication, and flip this. So what I would do is on the bottom here, this would become x plus three, x minus three. Okay, this, I would take out a 15, and I'd have x minus four, okay? All right, so I could, nothing vertically, nothing vertically, but here and here. I also have here and here. 
Up top, I got 15x minus seven. On the bottom, I got three x plus three. If I divide that, that's gonna be five x minus seven and x plus three. Okay? Let's do another one. Okay? All right, so this one looks backwards. I would take out a negative one of the x minus eight. This would be, uh, take out a two of the x plus five. Okay? Uh, keep, change the multiplication. That's gonna be x plus eight, x minus eight. Take out a 12, that's gonna be this x plus five. Now, I didn't show any examples of this but yet, yeah, but if you ever have something vertically, you could also eliminate there, okay? So diagonally here, here, diagonally here, and here. So I got negative 12 up top. I've got two over x plus eight. On the bottom, if I divide those, I get negative six. All right, and that should be my answers, all right? So um, you guys can go ahead and try these. All right, remember, you can eliminate vertically as well, okay? All right, you can eliminate vertically as well. So let's go to addition and subtraction. Did I put that one there? Yeah, I can delete this because I'm gonna talk about that. All right. <clears throat> All right, so when I have addition, subtraction, addition, subtraction, a little different. What I wanna do is factor or simplify the denominator. And then what I wanna do is get a common denominator. Okay? Now, so, can't do anything with this. Can't do anything with this. So in order to get a common denominator, I'm gonna multiply this by x minus two, and this one would be x minus four, okay? Now, what you want to do is multiply, okay? That's going to be 5x minus 10, okay? I want to multiply 8 times x is 8x, okay? 8 times negative 4 is negative 32. Now, if it is plus, I keep these exact signs, okay? All right? If it is minus, I am going to change these, okay? This is all over my common denominator, okay? And then I wanna do is I wanna combine like terms, okay? So the terms 5x, positive eight would be 13. Um, so that's gone. Then negative 10, negative 32, negative 42, all over x minus two and x minus four, all right? And then I, basically I'm just gonna write over the common denominator. All right, very simple, okay? Let's do another one. Now this one, I would have to take out an x, that'd be x minus nine. Take out an x, I got x plus three. Now, what you gotta ask yourself, if I look at this, I got an x and an x, but this side doesn't have x plus three, so I multiply this side by x plus three, top and bottom. This side is mi missing an x minus nine, so I multiply that. Okay, seven times x is seven x, seven times uh, that is 21. Now, 15 times x is 15 x, 15 times negative nine is negative 135. Now, here's what this says. Change the signs. So instead of positive 15, it's negative 15. Instead of negative 135, it's gonna be positive 135. That helps you keep your, your operations good. So this minus this would be negative eight, uh, eight x. That's gone. 21 plus that would be 156. My common denominator is x, x minus nine, x plus three. Okay? This one I would have to uh, factor to x plus four, x minus four. This one I'd have to take out an eight, that's x plus four. Now, the only thing this is missing, this has an x plus four already, is an eight. So I'm gonna multiply this side by eight. So eight times that is 96 x squared. Eight times that is negative 40 x. Now, this is missing an x minus four. So what I'm going to do, all right, I'm gonna do this over here with, with root. I wanna multiply those two, so I gotta do that with a box. So that's x squared minus four x minus two x uh, plus eight. So that's going to be x squared minus six x plus eight. Now, 
What this says is change all those signs. So I got negative x squared, positive 6x, minus x. So I want to change the signs of these. Okay? All over my common denominator. This and this are like terms. It's going to be 95x squared. All right? This and this are like terms. It's going to be negative 34x. And that is going to be negative 8 all over my common denominator, which is 8 x plus 4, x minus 4. Okay? So big thing is multiply. If it's minus, just change the signs. That will keep everything uh, much more organized and neat for you. Go ahead and try these. Okay? Now, moving on to this. This is called a complex fraction. Now, very simply, here's what you do with the complex fraction. This means division. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this with a division sign. Now, I want to simplify this as much as possible. I want to simplify, and I want to simplify. Okay? So what I got there, all right, I would have to multiply by A and A. So that's going to be 1 plus AB, I'm going to write in alphabetical order, over A, okay? Divided by, on this one, times B times B, okay? So that's going to be AB plus 1 over B, okay? All right? Now, I have division of fractions. I cannot simplify this, okay? Now, I can get this to look like this by the commutative property. I'm allowed to do that, okay? So times... B over AB plus 1. Okay, I can do this because addition is commutative. I'm allowed to do that. Okay, so now this eliminates, this eliminates. I have a B over an A. Okay? All right? Let's take a look at this one. What would this mean? I'd have X squared uh, plus 11X plus 24 all over X squared minus 4 divided by X squared minus 64 over x squared plus 11x plus 18, okay? If I factor that, that's x plus 3, x plus 8. This is x plus 2, x minus 2, uh, divided by turns, um, well, let's go ahead and do this. Division, this would be x plus 8, x minus 8. This would be x plus 2, x plus 9. Now, I'm looking, can I eliminate anything here? No. Can I eliminate anything here? No. So this is what I have. Okay, so then I'm going to turn that division, that's going to be keep, change, flip. So x plus 2, x plus 9, x plus 8, x minus 8. All right, so uh, diagonally x plus 2 goes away, diagonally x plus 8 goes away. I got x plus 3, x plus 9 over x minus 2, x minus 8. I cannot eliminate Anything else? Okay. All right. <clears throat> so go ahead. You guys go ahead and practice these two. Okay. I'd like to go on to one more type of problem uh, in case you see this. Okay, let's say you have something that looks like this. Okay, <clears throat> what you do, what this basically means is that it puts those underneath. Well, what would I need to do here? Multiply this by x minus 4, multiply this by x minus 4. What would I need to do? So that would be a 1x minus 4. I would want to multiply this by x plus 3. So 1 times this, that's 1x plus 3. Now, since it's minus, I change that, I change that all over my common denominator. 1x minus 1x, that's just going to disappear. Negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7, all over x plus 3 and x minus 4, okay? Why don't you guys try? So that's, that, there's nothing overly that complicated there. I just wanted you guys to see that. Okay, 
So go ahead and try this one to finish up this lesson. There's a lot of reducing, a lot of factoring. So this video may have gone quick. It may take you a little bit longer to do the factoring. It all depends on your factoring skills. But go ahead and work through that and you should be fine.